what is the most important innovation of humans that has helped them in their smooth movement from one place to another? I know your answer is the wheel, but what if tires didn't exist? Could you reach one place to another smoothly? Definitely, there would be more fuel consumption. There would not be that time-saving journey too, but you never appreciated this amazing discovery ever in the past. So today we would see the complete manufacturing process of tires. But before we move forward, let's know a short history of tires. Chapter history. The earliest tires were leather band, then iron, later steel, placed on wooden wheels used on carts and wagons. A wheelwright heated the tire in a forge fire, placed it over the wheel and quenched it, causing the metal to contract back to its original size. The first patent for a standard pneumatic tire appeared in 1847, but it never went into production. The first practical pneumatic tire was made in 1888 by Scots-born John Boyd Dunlop, owner of a prosperous veterinary practice in Belfast, to prevent his 10-year-old son Johnny's headaches while riding his tricycle on rough pavements. Cyclist Willie Hume demonstrated the supremacy of Dunlop's tires in 1889, winning the tires' first ever races in Ireland and then England. In 1892, Dunlop's patent was declared invalid due to prior art by Robert William Thompson of London. However, Dunlop is credited with realizing rubber could withstand wear and tear while retaining its resilience. Dunlop and Harvey Ducross worked through the ensuing difficulties, employing inventor Charles Kingston Welch and acquiring other rights and patents. Pneumatic tires would become Dunlop rubber and Dunlop tires. Synthetic rubbers were invented in the 1920s and rubber shortages in the United Kingdom during World War II prompted research on alternatives to rubber tires. In 1946, Michelin developed the radial tire method of construction, which spread throughout Europe and Asia due to its superior handling and fuel economy. Chapter Manufacturing. Tire manufacturing is a global industry that involves the production of pneumatic tires in around 450 factories worldwide. The global automotive tire market is expected to grow, with sales volume estimated at $126 billion in 2022 and over $176 billion by 2027. The tire industry is a major consumer of natural rubber, with over 2.5 billion tires being manufactured annually. Treads are the parts of a tire that come in contact with the road surface, with the contact patch being the portion that is in contact at a given instant in time. The tread pattern is characterized by a system of circumferential grooves, lateral sipes, and slots for road tires or lugs, and voids for tires designed for soft terrain or snow. These grooves channel away water and allow tires to evacuate water. The design of treads and the interaction of specific tire types with the roadway surface, which increases with higher vehicle speeds. Different tread designs address different driving conditions, such as dry pavement, high-performance tires, mud and snow tires. High-performance tires have smaller void areas to provide more rubber in contact with the road for higher traction, while mud and snow tires employ larger and deeper slots to engage mud and snow. Snow tires have larger and deeper slots that compact snow and create shear strength within the compacted snow to improve braking and cornering performance. Wear bars or wear indicators are raised features at the bottom of the tread grooves, indicating the tire has reached its wear limit. When the tread lugs are worn to the point that the wear bars connect across the lugs, the tires are fully worn and should be taken out of service. The tire bead is the part of the tire that contacts the rim on the wheel, constructed with robust steel cables encased in durable, specially formulated rubber designed to resist stretching. The precision of the bead's fit is crucial as it seals the tire against the wheel, maintaining air pressure integrity and preventing any loss of air. The interplay between the bead's dimensions and the wheel's width significantly influences the vehicle's steering responsiveness and stability as it helps maintain the tire's intended shape and contact with the road. The sidewall of a tire is the part that bridges between the tread and bead, primarily made of rubber, but reinforced with fabric or steel cords for tensile strength and flexibility. It contains air pressure and transmits torque applied by the drive axle to the tread, creating traction but supporting little of the vehicle's weight. Sidewalls are molded with manufacturer-specific detail, government-mandated warning labels, and other consumer information. The shoulder is the part of the tire at the edge of the tread as it transitions to the sidewall. Plies are layers of relatively inextensible cords 
embedded in the rubber to hold its shape by preventing it from stretching in response to internal pressure. The orientations of the plias play a large role in the performance of the tire and are one of the main ways that tires are categorized. Blems are tires that fail inspection during manufacturing for superficial slash cosmetic slash aesthetic reasons. They are fully functional and generally carry the same warranty as flawless tires, but are sold at a discount. Modern pneumatic tires can be divided into two groups, cords that make up the ply and the elastomer that encases them. Cords can be composed of steel, natural fibers such as cotton or silk, or synthetic fibers such as nylon or Kevlar. Good adhesion between the cords and the rubber is important, and the steel cords are coated in a thin layer of brass. Elastomer, a key component of pneumatic tire design, forms the tread and encases the cords to protect them from abrasion and hold them in place. Optimizing rolling resistance in the elastomer material is a key challenge for reducing fuel consumption in the transportation sector. Designing an elastomer material that can achieve both high wet traction and low rolling resistance is key to achieving safety and fuel efficiency in the transportation sector. Non-exhaust emissions of particulate matter generated by the wearing down of brakes, clutches, tires, and road surfaces constitute a little known but rising share of emissions from road traffic and significantly harm public health. Chapter Varieties in the Market. Passenger touring tires provide a quiet ride, all season traction, and extended tread life. Grand touring and all season touring tires are offered. All season tires are made to handle all kinds of weather and temperatures that our climate can throw at us all year long. All season tires are made to be safe in temperatures from minus 10 degrees Celsius to 30 degrees Celsius. Grand touring tires are intended for comfort, all season traction, and high speed ratings. In warmer areas or for performance, summer tires are suitable. Performance automobiles in warmer areas benefit from their grip and quick handling. However, performance tires help drivers in varied weather situations, particularly rainy weather. They grip better with bigger circumferential and lateral grooves, dense packing, and silica-enriched tread materials. Performance tires demand better handling. Winter tires are specially formulated and designed to cope best in cold and icy conditions. That means they are made of a rubber compound that's more effective at low temperatures, specifically beneath seven degrees Celsius. Track and competition tires are designed for extreme performance and are rarely used for daily driving. They are engineered to provide constant road contact in dry conditions and are typically used for amateur track days or professional competitions. Competition tire specifications are determined by the series mandate, so it is essential to check the series bylaws. There are various types of truck tires for trucks and SUVs, depending on the vehicle's usage, driving style, and location. Highway tires are designed to create a smooth, even ride at increased speeds and are engineered to be comfortable on the pavement. Chapter Conclusion Tires are an important part of your car's performance and safety, yet they get little attention. You can make sure the ride is smooth and safe by learning about the various kinds, how to recognize when they need replacement, and some basic maintenance advice. Get to know your tires inside and out. It will save you time and money and, most importantly, give you peace of mind while driving. Want to know more about such things then, like share and subscribe to the channel.